You know what I heard this originally was? This, this location? This was the original Frankie Spuntino. Don't worry about the German guy. He's gonna be there anyway. This was the entrance. You come in here. How's my hair? Makeup. Hi, I'm Frank Castronovo. And I'm Frank Falsinelli, and we're Being Frank in Sicily. This episode of Being Frank is Sicily, the whole island. Normally, we come to Sicily for our olive oil harvest. Oh my god. Nothing's glitzy, nothing's shiny, everything's like farmy. Work, rest, or play. This falls under work, rest, and play. Oh god. You can get all of those in one box? What's better than that? <laughs> Be Frank. Yeah. That's awesome. Perfect. Okay. Grazie. Ciao. Ciao. Grazie. Ciao. That was a good one. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, you can get some real serious weather in Sicily, man. I'm telling you, boy. It's clearing, it's clearing up out there. Yeah. Look at this view, man. Check this out, man. This is Sicily, man. This is fucking Sicily. So right now we're going to meet Tommaso Asaro. Tommaso is third generation of Asaro family in the olive oil business. And we are home base. Buongiorno, what's up? How's it going? Just give me a big hug instead of two kisses. I met Franks uh, in 2004, and one day I told them, I want to make something special for you because I see that you are doing different than all the other restaurants. Then I said, okay, let me do a bottle of olive oil for you, for your restaurant, you have your, your special oil. I put my quality with your brand. Besides the business, we have a personal relationship. Every year now, we have kind of a commitment that they have to come in October in Sicily to celebrate the Olio Novo and see the production and see the farm and see the family, spend some time. Let's go. Let's go. Starving. Let's go, man. Usually when we get off the plane, it's pretty much overload straight through. So we're going straight to the restaurant. Woo! It's freaking delicious, man. We're going to eat really well. Come on in, guys. Let's do it. This is year number eight. This is eighth year, man. Yes, That's it's right. our eighth anniversary. Good to see you. It's all over here. Been dating Tommaso for eight years. It used to be a truck driver's uh, restaurant, so it's where you could eat good and you could eat inexpensively. You go in there and they have a, a wood burning grill and they have a wood burning oven. We got anchovies, provolone, and casa vetrana olives. That's like the antipasto, and, and, and it's still coming. Are you fucking kidding me? The Sicilian joke. Don't ever eat the appetizers. The squid ink is so sweet, man. We all have black mouth right now. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of pasta in Sicily, man. A lot of pasta. You gotta take some laxatives when you travel in Sicily. You get stuffed up, man. We're going to the farm. We're going to the farm. We're going to, see We're going to, farm. Farm. We're going to see our farm. My farm. Grazie. Salve. 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 Grazie. Salve. Salve. Grazie. Ah, oh, I need my sunglasses. It's nice and sunny now. I'm ready for a nap under an olive tree. Uh, check this out. Welcome to the farm. Explain the significance of the Frankie's olive oil. It comes only from one farm, the Salenuta farm, our Salenuta farm. It's organic and it's DOP. It means that this product, it grows only in this area and it's processed in this area, it's crushed in this area, it's bottled in this area. This is all organic too. And you can tell because the fruits are just a little bit not perfect, you know, they got some spots of insect bites. We don't put any fertilizer, we don't do irrigation in the summer. Check out these jammies. There is no irrigation, this is just natural olives that they get the water and the humidity from the ground. If I lived on this farm, if you lived on this farm, you'd be bored as fuck. If I lived, this, if I lived on this farm, I would have I would have some other things besides besides the olive trees. By the yeah. Way, we are going to big trees. Let, let's walk a little bit. They range, but we have some 500-year-old trees on our farm. 
As a matter of fact, Tommaso said a couple of the trees are ours. They got our names on it. <laughs> <laughs> Tommaso, face it, you don't know where the biggest olive tree is, do you? Although by their federal law, you can't move them, you can't kill them. You, we, I mean, we can basically look at them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're, we're, we're renting them. Can you I bury me under the tree? I Underneath the tree, I want to be buried. Even I won't be here, you won't be here, the tree will be here, then it can be for your daughter, for my son. They can say, you know what? I have a tree in your farm. I love it. They always want to go in the same place all the time. One of those places are Ardinia, where is a friend of mine is a restaurant in the middle of nowhere in a farm. Do you know where Ardinia is? Oh. You go through Salemi and you go in and out and in and out. And then at some point you think you're, you go off road and you think you're off road and then that's only halfway and then you go off off road. I mean, who the fuck would ever, ever think that there's an amazing restaurant on a road like this? In the middle of nowhere, man. This is the only thing keeping this restaurant from getting Michelin star. There is no sign, no, no, no lighting. Even the cell phone doesn't work there. Then you come up, what's his driveway, which is another, you know, really, really rural road. When you think that there's, there's not a soul around, and then straight up the hill, you get up and you arrive into a big, like, arena parking area. Our fucking Dina. Our fucking Dina. You might be full for the rest of the trip after this, man. And it's packed to the gills with Sicilians having a blast on a Friday night. Partying, weddings, birthdays. It's pure, it's natural, I and mean, it's a restaurant, but it feels like you're at somebody's house. There's more Buenos Aires flying around in there. There's fucking Buenos Aires everywhere. You got a duck. Vino e vino. Tutti. <laughs> Live from Ardenia. Yes. Uh, uh, that's what we call it. Our fucking Ardenia. No. <laughs> I'm from Ardenia. <laughs> it's Salvatore, man. Salvatore. This is his fun establishment. All right, here comes the antipasto. Watch out, guys. Don't OD on this. You got so much shit coming, man. It's ridiculous. Dell'Ardigna è molto semplice. Nasce per l'amore che io ho verso mia moglie. Il papà di Sabina mi dice se volevo fare un ristorante in società con lei, con lui. È successo che sono venuto qua in vacanza una settimana e però è stato più forte di me. E dopo un anno e mezzo me lo sono comprato. E adesso è da 15 anni che è mio. È tutto mio. Me lo sono creato come volevo io. He redefines the word antipasto. Like his Sicilian mountain antipasto is like endless. Prepare for a food coma. If I stop now, I might actually leave without being sick. I just want one more piece of tripe. Pasta, grazie. Oh. He's using every part of the animal, every part of the vegetable, and he's combining it with the culture. It's ridiculous. And he's got a smile on his face. This guy opened in New York, we'd be at a fucking business, man. So those were the appetizers. Now we're really ready to get down and do some eating. Hey, Clint. Oh, God. You gotta get out of the place before he, he just keeps sending food out. Did you ever see that picture of the bear that ate the guy, the hiker? There's a photo of his sneaker, his sock, and his leg looks like that with the bones standing up. So. Apparently, that bear spent most of the time hanging out with that dude, and then when it came time to eat, he was like, eh, I can eat my friend. You get in on it, man. No, 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 you get in on it. So I think that the key is, we say to Tommaso, time for dessert. Let's get some cannolis and get out of here, man. Lunch was great. Dinner was great. We got two great meals already. We've only, we haven't even been here for 24 hours. Right? Thank you. They want to give you a ride for you, yeah. I'll sit in the back, man. How old are you? Ten. Thank you. Okay. Just want to make sure. The highlight was discovering that Tommaso's little son, who said he was 10, is 9, drives. Drove us around. Drove us around in a car. <laughs> 10 years old. Oh, <laughs> easy on the brakes. <laughs> Slow. Put it in park. He's got it. Park. Park easy. All right, man. Let's go talk business, man. We got to work on the olive oil for 2013. To the officina. Oh, okay. Numero uno. Doing business with them, it's, uh, you have to do the business on, the, on a Frankie's way. 
I told him, I said, you can't use this can, dude. This is olive oil plagiarism. The way that they really work is not the classic American way that they give you so many emails, you know, just three information, then you have to get it. After this, we're gonna go check out the oil, right? Yes. You're actually pressing some of the Frankie's yeah, oil? Yeah, we are pressing right now. We have the oil, then let's so we're, so we're gonna go taste some, right? Getting ready to check out our olive oil production. Oh boy, oh, we're at the front oil. This is the work part of the work wrestling play. You can't play all the time. The front oil is the factory where they do the press. Front oil means cold press machine. That thing is going 24 hours a the day. The whole valley seven brings days their week. olives to that front oil. I don't know if these are just fucked up or they're organic. We got the ugliest damn olives in the whole friggin' land. But they're the most delicious. Whee! So all this machinery is specialized for olive oil production by this company, Vitone. They make good stuff. The best one. This is the olive press. It's turning it and crushing the olive. Makes it into a paste, and then it gets spun and the oil comes out of it, which we're going to see over here. That's olive water. All right. Going it for it. Like Italiano. Olio Nuovo is all the olive oil that's pressed right after it's pressed. So it's the new oil in direct translation. Everything now is Olio Nuovo. This is your oil. This is my oil. Thank you, brother. Oh my God. That's our oil this year. Cheers, man. Ah. <laughs> this is truly Salute. being frank. The health, man. To help. Everybody who sees our olive oil says, why is it so bright green? It's because it's organic. It's because it's pressed four hours from picking the same day. That is why you get that neon green color, ma'am. Wait, hold on a second. How old are you? Nine years old. Easy. Suave, suave. Nine year old, nine years old. In my family, it's very common that we have a big dinner with friends and family and customer. We happen to be uh, playing and working right now. Yeah. We're not doing a lot of resting. I've got Jack Nicholson in The Shining. Here he is. And uh, we're gonna be cooking at Tommaso Asaro's house at the Asaro Mansion. I need little little sticks to get started. That's perfect. You know, this is my Boy Scout training. Oh, yeah. Give me a little olive oil. Give me a little splashy splash. Here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Watch, we got the ignish. Only Sicilians light a fire with olive oil. Oh my god, there it goes. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, olive oil to olive branch. Is a must. We're cooking with olive oil in Sicily. <laughs> Part of being frank is you always wind up cooking dinner. So right now I'm just making a little marinade for the, all the grilled stuff. So some basil, some citrus, some hot pepper. Almost right. die. Bene, grazie. And so my bene. It's the way we do it. You know, it's family. Like we, we see the people every year. They look forward to seeing us. Everybody's Pitch in the kitchen, everybody's Pitch in. pitching in, everybody's having fun. It's the way I grew up cooking, it's the way he grew up cooking. Yeah. And it was like, you know, we just like fit together. It was just like that. Mama, how do you make the pesto? You put olive oil inside, you put garlic. You blend it and then you add the tomatoes. This is real life. Yes, yes. We call it the top and easy pesto. It needs a little more salt. Salt! These are cooking up. Perfecto. Hallmarks of Sicilian cooking, great, great products. There's certain things that are indigenous and you can't, you can recreate them, but they don't, it's not the same. You know, they make great Pinot Noir in California, but it's not Burgundy, you know? And they make great cheese in upstate New York, but it's not, you know, Pont Novec. Get ready for the applause. Yeah. 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 Peace.
speak, speak, speak. We want to say thank you for your hospitality, Sicily and the Asaro family, and uh, thank you for the fine olive oil. We love it. Yeah! Yeah! We love you. We were in Palermo, Trapani side, which is the west side of the island, and now we're on the east side of the island. We love this city, Catania. You know, one of our best friends, Ricardo, Ricardo Schuto. <laughs> Ricardo. <laughs> What's up, Chico? Place where they made this. Uh... <laughs> <That's good. laughs> I mean, it is definitely pleasurable, but we come to, we come to do business as well. You know, we have our Sethiani peppers right. over here, so we have to come Sethiani. and visit them. You want some shells? No. <laughs> you sure? Walking on the beach. <laughs> Why don't you tell us what it's like? scheduling things with Sicilians. They're trying to catch a wild cat in the back alley, man. <laughs> we, have de we have detours, like we'll be at home and we'll be going to like here and we'll wind up there. These guys take it to a, another level. Their heart is always in the right place and their intentions are always trying to like please you and to make it better than what you expected. But sometimes better what you, than what you expected is taking you off track, so. We stopped off in Bronte which is outside of Catania for a rice ball. So we're just gonna get a rice ball. You know, meat, peas, a little bit of tomato inside. But Bronte is where the pistachios are grown. We open it up and what comes outside is green pistachio cream. And we're like. Look at that shit, man. Ah! We got our minds blown. I wanna learn how to make this. Yes. I, I gotta Anybody make this shit, man. Flowers. We knew it got in the middle, but we didn't know if they froze it and made a ball around it, which a lot of chefs do. They pipe it in, which a lot of chefs do with stuff like that, or Harry Potter it in. You know, that's a technique that a lot of chefs use. We fucking bamboozled our way in there, man. And we got to the, can you show us how to make these rice balls? And Nunzio was like, of course. Let's do it, yes! So first he shows us how to make the technique. Oh, son of a bitch. You see that technique? Dude, he does the crucible technique. It's not so simple. Then when you know it. Until you know it, man. And then after the showing us the technique, which was like half of the Da Vinci Code. Castronova was like, so, how about the filling? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can we make the cream with you from the top? Now that I have your daughter, can I have your castle? <laughs> <laughs> when he woke up this morning, he was not expecting to do this. He started putting it together, and lo and behold. It's so easy, man. So ham, onions, pistachio, bechamel. I love doing onion brunoise with a serrated fucking bread knife on a slippery metal table. That's what you call improvisation, man. If I don't cut my fucking finger off here. Another important thing to note about doing pastry is you, normally it's an exact science. Nunzio has figured out how to do it by eye. He's just like a cup of this, a pinch of that. It's like He's done it a thousand times. See? Hit it, baby. Flambe. Flambe. Sometimes the Frankie's detours work out. Just put it all in there, baby. Jean Ial. Okay. Give me that shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just got five new menu items. If you, we didn't came back here, we would have been guessing for another 20 years. All right. That was sick. Delicious. That was it. We found it, man. Next place, Setayani Peppers. The Setayani Pepper trip is, is not an annual trip. I mean, you think it's hard to get to Ardenia? This place is, is, is... Makes Ardenia look like cutting wet toilet paper. That goes for any, any great location, any great spot. You know, like, you have to persevere. You have to really want to, you know, go the extra mile and find these great locations. Because if it's easy to get to, anybody can just get there. We're gonna get here and, like, David Chang's gonna be here. Like, hey, what's up? No. I just bought all these peppers. I'm making set thing on your problem. You don't want to look out the window, but it looks like uh, the edge of the road, sheer drop, and then it's just beautiful. Lush. Mount, you're at the backside of Mount Etna. Because you have to go fast. Take it easy, man. It's like, watch how I ski down the mountain. You do the same thing. For somebody that doesn't like driving in the backseat of a car, I'm still percolating. 
but it's it's worth it. Here we are, our Pintagra. He does all the pickle products, finances by himself. I got enough food here for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life, I could eat and be healthy. He doesn't use any preservatives. Tutti naturali. Tutto. Tutto. Nothing, nothing, nothing. He's a small operation, like the kind of thing that most Italians did at home, most farmers did at home. They would always harvest their peppers, they would take their tomatoes, they would harvest them, and then they would jar everything up, like grandma style. And basically, this guy has got like a large-scale grandma jarring operation. They do a setayani pepper. Truly remarkable product. So what he does is he pickles this pepper one year, and the following year, gals split it. And then they stuff them with anchovies, they stuff them with sardines, and store it in sunflower oil that they press on the farm here. Nobody carries this shit. Man. Nobody even knows about it. It's definitely one of those, you know, there's a lot of little treasure spots around the world and around Italy and around everywhere. It's like, you know, Benton's bacon, Benton's, you know, Alan Benton does a great product. This is like Alan Benton's Sicilian style. There's a few people in this world that come into this world and they create and they make an amazing thing. This guy is one of them. Guarda, la pelle d'oca. La goose people for what you say. Me too. Ho voluto fare questo prodotto perché, dato che sono fotografo, no? Nei matrimoni giravo e vedevo cosa davano alle persone per mangiare e vedevo che erano tutte porcherie. One question. When are you coming to New York? Mi spavento con l'aereo. Ah, he has a scared. Però se devo venire per All the great ones are scared to fly, man. Take the boat like our grandparents. Dice prendi la barca come si faceva prima. It worked. You never know get food in Sicily, man. You're not even like in the door yet. They're hitting you with music. They're hitting you with antipasto. It's one of the best places on earth, man. It started that we got there and we just had the most euphoric experience coming in. He had a big buffet out, the wine was pouring. I mean, I was high as a kite. And then Frank is like, yo, come here. He's like, we gotta do this thing. This is a mom and pop operation. They have no certification. They don't have anything labeled. They're focused on the quality of the product. And we spotted that seven years ago and we bring in, bring in the product in. The peppers arrived in New York and there was no label on the jar. It was ridiculous. So the peppers got stopped. We paid for peppers and the Shuto's paid for the peppers and Tommaso put money out for the peppers, but the peppers are in limbo and we needed to square that up. We were received, we were hugs, kisses, we love each other, and then sit down, and then all of a sudden this dude comes in who I don't fucking know, and all of a sudden he's I like, scuzzy, like, and he like goes off on us. In partenza, io ero, volevo fare in quella maniera, come dice lei, perché pensavo che il rapporto lo stavo lasciando. No, no, non capovolgiamo, non capovolgiamo, non capovolgiamo. Wait a minute, what's going on there? Is there a heat up here? I don't understand a word that's saying. I had already put all the, you know, the negotiation points in between Tommaso and Ricardo and Salvatore, and then it was like, okay, go, because the whole thing was in Italian, and my Italian is like, Niente. Especially then they speak in Sicilian, so he was sleeping. <laughs> He's like, wake me up when they come to a, a like, conclusion. We get to a good point, man. Wake me up, man. You know, so we straightened it all out. So just in clo just in closing, happy that we cleared up the problem. Frank and my Frank and myself look forward to doing business in the future. I don't know where he came from, but <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Muhammad Ali added out of nowhere over here. Uno, two, three. Come on, Gio. Come on, Gio. Pentagro. Did you see that? I also know. I was like, he's like, hey, I'm going to Loro, 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 no, loro. I was like, anyway, we took care of what we needed to, and we had fun doing it. It was an epic being frank experience because we're not negligent of any any phase of our life. Beshe, beshe, beshe. We got to work, rest, play. And you know, everybody benefits. You! 
me? You! Ah, yeah, 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 yeah! I can open my head! Open my head! And in the Rivici munches, I love this Frank thing you have going on here, Tommaso and Lasaro brothers and sons and everybody in the family of Lasaro. We love them all. They're amazing people. Just sprinkle my ashes here when I die. Welcome to Mexico City. Yeah. Yeah. Ace America is a convention where all the chefs from around the world come and convene. Good afternoon, everybody, and thank Enrico Vera for having us. This is fucking America's Hidden Camera Show. And we're going to do Frankie's at Pujol. Dim the lights, different kind of music, more Grateful Dead inspired, and we put an apple on the table. <laughs> is it more bean or more egg? One egg, a lot of meat. A lot of meat. <laughs> This is BM Fan, he goes from Mexico City 